I was staying at a friend's house a little while ago. He decided we'd have a cooked breakfast in the morning. I'm in his living room, suddenly he's shouting and screaming, calling me in. And the reason is, he had found not just one, but two double-yoked eggs. Wow. Oh, two double-yokers. Wow indeed, sir. Yes. <laughs> Now, I don't think a double yoker is much better than a single yoker, but that definitely made us happy. And I found myself telling everyone I met that day that I had had a double yoker for breakfast. I got a cab from my friend's house to the train station. I told the cab driver, and do you know what? It did brighten his day. It did. <laughs> do you know what the odds are on getting a double yoked egg? According to the British Egg Information Service, which exists... <laughs> It is one in a thousand. I don't know if that's right, but I decided we could conduct a little experiment <laughs> here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look under your seat, you should find a box of eggs and a bowl. It is a very brave move being a performer on a stage giving the audience eggs, <laughs> but I trust you. <laughs> According to the British Egg Information Service, we should have at least one double yoker in this room. They say it's one in a thousand. We've got about 1,200 eggs here, OK? If you could all take your first egg and crack it when I give you the command... ..and crack your first egg. I can tell you this, by the way. I know that we're going... We got one! Hey! Fantastic! Let me give you a high five, sir. Give me a high five, a little eggy high five. People are going to complain and say we're going to think we're wasting eggs. I will cook all of these eggs later <laughs> into a nice... It's my favourite, an egg omelette. Um, <laughs> Charles Silver, but we got one. That's the first go. I'll tell you, well, we might have, have a second go in case anyone else can come in and, and take the prize. You can go again on your second egg as well, sir. Feel free to... Everyone go for your second egg. Go for it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> you are kidding me. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Lewis. Have you got a lottery ticket this week? <laughs> yeah. That's a one in a thousand times one in a thousand right there. That is amazing. Or at least it would be... <laughs> ..if Marks and Spencers had not started selling guaranteed double yolk eggs in boxes... ..and we happened to give you a box full. I didn't know where it was, but you, Lewis, had the box. But do you know what? The joy of hearing some of you go, oh... And a single yoker is the mirror image of the joy you find when you find a genuine double yoker out there. And, and you had that joy for a moment. But isn't it slightly ruined by knowing you can just buy them? Surely the joy of a double yoker is that you're expecting a single yoker. The minute you're expecting a double yoker, for it to bring you that degree of pleasure, it needs to have three yolks in it. You've created an arms race of egg yolks. Of course, when they made this announcement, the press were all over it. It wasn't just in The Guardian, it was in The Telegraph, there it is. It was in The Independent, there it is. Uh, in The Mirror, it was in The Mail Online, of course it was. The only thing you need to read in theirs is the headline, obviously. Um, <laughs> also is there. Actually, that's not true. There is one bit of information in the mail story that isn't in the headline. They explain how Marks and Spencers are able to guarantee the double yokers. What happens is they find the young hens that are more likely to produce the doubles, and then they look for the big eggs, and then they hold them up to very bright lights, and the light is so bright it reveals the number of yolks. But, oh, people got so worked up about this story, they really did. And do you know what? <laughs> I quite like it when people get upset about things they shouldn't really be getting all upset about. I have delved into the bottom half of the internet to see what the people of Britain were saying about this subject, and I've taken my favourite comments and turned them into something that I like to think is more beautiful than the sum of its parts. I've turned them into something that I like to call a found poem, which I would like to perform for you now. One wonders in what sinister way these double yolk eggs are produced. I'll tell you exactly how these Frankenstein eggs are produced. <laughs> First, they extract the yolk from an egg. They then introduce this yolk to a new artificial eggshell. <laughs> alongside the whole contents, yolk and white, from another egg. In reality, I believe the whole egg is cracked in first. That way, it makes a soft landing for the second <laughs> unsupported yolk. That is how these things are made. 
And I don't like the sound of it one little bit. I have to say, this all seems very unlikely. How do you know this is what happens? Where have you got your information from? I have got my information from my eyes. <laughs> Let's be honest, none of us knows how they make them. But this is my theory, and it seems to me that this is the best theory we have on the available evidence. Well, I have kept chickens for 18 years, and I can tell you that double yokers happen quite often. That is my available evidence. Your theory is nonsense. OK, maybe I am wrong about the details. <laughs> but the important thing is, it's not natural. <laughs> it is natural. <laughs> it happens naturally. <laughs> you are wrong. My hens only produce double yolks if they've had a fright. <laughs> Are M&S going to go around alarming them on purpose? <laughs> Poor hens. <laughs> to know whether this is right or not, you have to really understand what eggs are. You have to know what eggs are really for. God, or Mother Nature if you prefer, <laughs> gave us eggs for breakfast. <laughs> if he, or she, or whatever, had wanted us to have two yolks in each egg, then all eggs would have two yolks in. By that logic, surely it follows that God wants some eggs to have two yolks in. Yes, exactly. That is the point I was making. <laughs> If eggs come from chickens, and chickens come from eggs, but we keep eating all the eggs, <laughs> why are there still chickens? <laughs> I thank you.